Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I do all the hack rank and late code problem solutions. So um, if you're interested, check those out. I have a playlist for them on my channel. This one's called Array Partition 1. Given an array of two n integers, your task is to group these integers into n pairs of integers. Say a1, b1, a2, b2, a n to bn, which the sum of all min values for those pairs uh, for one from one to n uh, is as large as possible. So um, basically, take the sum, take have a sum. So we're just going to have this int. You're going to call it sum. I mean, I wouldn't use the word sum because a built-in. Uh, it's built into some languages. I don't think it is in Java, so I'm just going to use it. But uh, you loop through the numbers by two. So I'm just going to do plus equals two. And then you would want the min of the pair, you know? So actually num, num length minus one. We would want a min of the pair of two if we're going by two. Uh, and then we'd add it to the sum and then we'd return sum at the end. Well, it's not sorted, so we can't really do that. But actually, wait, we can. We can just sort it. So actually just sort it, uh, sort your array of numbers and then just do sum plus equals nums of i plus one. No, 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 just nums of i because uh, they're all in pairs. If you're skipping by two, they're all, it's basically you're skipping by the pairs if it's pairs of two and you're getting the min because it's sorted. So the minimum would be the first one. So i is the first one. i plus one would be the second one. Um, yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, that was it. Yeah, that's super easy. Uh, so yeah, just sort it and then just skip by two and then grab the first element. Because um, skipping by two would be pairs of two. Um, yeah, that was like one of the easiest ones I've seen out, out of easy problems. Let me see if there's a... Okay, so this guy's saying there is a different solution. Maybe it's better than sorting, because sorting's just n log n. That's not bad. Uh, you could have a linear solution, but you know this is constant space. Um, so that's good. What is this solution? Uh, this looks like you have space, though. I mean, it is kind of constant, because it's only to 2001 is what we're seeing here. What is this, 10,000? No, it's not that good because it's, you know, space of constraints. So, um, you know, I would just say the first solution was good. Just sort it and then do a loop by two. I can, I guess that there's a lot of dislikes because it's easy. Um, let me know if you see a better solution out there for linear runtime constant space. But I think that solution is pretty good. Um, let me know if you guys have a better solution. I, under, I don't understand how this is. This doesn't seem like a good solution really. Uh, I think sorting is better. So, all right, let me know what you guys think. And thank you very much. Check out the other problems. And that was just an easy one. See ya.